Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. In this video, I will show you how you convert your electronic store in Shopify to an app through App Maker. So let's get started. This is a basic electronic store. Let me show you how you can convert this to an app. For that first, you will need to add App Maker plugin. You can find the link for the plugin in the description. And in here, click on Add App. And now on this page, scroll down and click Add Sales Channel. As you can see, App Maker has been opened, and here you can make your app. This will be the home page with all the banners and grids. First, I will remove all these and show you how you can add all banners, grids, and image scroll. First, I will remove this block. I will remove this one also. So to add banners on your left hand side, you can see banners, grids, all that. I will grab this banner and drop it here. Now you can see a block has appeared. In here you can see upload, media library, insert from URL. Click on upload and upload your banner. I will add a banner here. Now you can see the banner has been added. To move this banner, you can see an arrow key in here. If you click upward, it goes up and if you click downward, it goes down. So I will move this to the top. If you click on these products on the right hand side, you can see App Maker action. And on the App Maker action, click on the drop down menu, you can see many actions here. So for this, I will go with the open all product and below that, you can enable image title. Below that we can add a grid. As you can see, grid has appeared. You can add an extra grid in here, Click on that upload image icon, you can upload your grid image here. So I will add some grid images here. You can see I added some of the grid images here. And on the right hand side, you add columns. If I go with four, you can add four columns here. If I decrease that, you can see how it looks. Below that, I will add a slider. Grab this and add it here. I will move this down here. And if you click on this plus icon, you can add sliders. You can see we added a slider here. And you now can add images here. I will add some of the images. Now you can see I added two to three sliders in here. You can also add action in here according to the slider. Below that, I will add one more banner. So I went ahead and added some more blocks in here. Now click Save Page to save this page which we created. Next, I will create an in-app page. To create an in-app page, click on this new page, and you can add a new in-app page here. First, let's add a page title here. I will add development board as title. Now I can add a banner in here. Below that we add a slider, like we did before. We can add action in images. Below that, let's add the product by collection. Grab it and drop that here. Select your collection from the drop down. As you can see, collections has been added to your page. I have made a few more additions to my page. Click on Save Pages. Now, on the left hand side of the dashboard, you can see the app menu. If you click on the app menu, you can see all these menu items here. I will show how you can add this menu item. First, I will delete this and add a new menu. By clicking the Add Menu Item button, on the right hand side, you see Menu Title and Menu Type. So I will add Home as a title. And on the Menu Type, you can select Title or Menu Item. The title will be Non Actionable Type and Menu Items will be Actionable. So if click on the menu item, you can choose an action from the dropdown. I will add home. Below that you can see the menu icon. Click on open library. Let's add an icon for the home menu. After selecting the icon, click on add. Now you can see your home menu has been added. Like this, you can add a non-actionable title here also. If you grab this menu item, you can drag this to the top or bottom. And also you can make this to a subcategory. 
I went ahead and added some more menus here, and now let's click on Save. Now let's go to the Update App section. Click on the Update App. First, it will ask you for the app icon. Click on the Upload icon and select the app icon. On the right side, you get a preview of your app icon on both Android and iOS mobiles. Click on Next. Here it will ask you to upload the launch screen icon. Upload the launch screen icon. You can also change the background color. And then click on Next. Here you can customize your app style. After customizing, click on Next. On this page, you can add the drawer header logo, push notification logo, and login logo. Let's add the logo here. After adding, click on Next. In here, you can add this option to your app setting by enabling it. Now let's go to the language settings. Here you can add or delete this language. In the search bar, you can search for your preferred language. If you want to remove your language, click on the Delete This Language button on the top right corner. Now let's click on Save Changes and then click on the Build app. Once you click on the Build app, the page gets refreshed and the app will start to build. It will take around 5 min to get ready. Till then, let's talk about the push notification feature. The push notification is an important feature that helps in customer engagement and retention. All app maker plans consist of push notification features, and with a five-step configuration, you can send push notifications to your customers to generate compelling results. Now your app is ready. Click on the preview to download the app file for the Android version. I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. This will be my homepage as you can see all images are in the right place. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Let's click on this icon here to see my products. As you can see, all products are here. Now click the product and let's see what option pops up. You can see add to cart button and buy button here. You can choose the number of products needed. Just click add or minus. We have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. Also, you have the option to add coupons. And that is how you make your Shopify electronic store into an app through AppMaker. To know more, check out our website, www.appmaker.xyz.